support CGT, give us a subscribe. Hello and welcome, I'm Viking Bart and today I'm going to be bringing you another review about the backpack because you all seem to love it so much. So today I have here the Haglofs Rigsack number one. Haglofs is a Swedish outdoor company, it's one of the premium ones, one of the better ones. I have been using it for more than a decade, the brand, I really love it. Some of their stuff is really unique and awesome, outstanding to say. This one, the Hexloft Rigsack, it does not come with this nice stand. I kind of took it from the shop where I bought it, but they were okay with it. Now this is however a very expensive backpack. It was made to celebrate their 100 years as a company and it costs a whopping 550 euro. That is a lot of money for just an ordinary backpack, even if it's a limited edition one. Now, let's have a look and see what it's all about. So let's have a look at the outside of this Rigsack one, which is made in Dalarna in Sweden. The fabric itself is a strong Corduna, and this is just leather and metal pointers. So at the front, you can see two front backpacks and this unique strap, this unique way to keep it tight and closed. Now I have to be honest, after seven years of working, this has gone a bit flappy and loose. I must admit, from time to time, I just yanked it open because I was in a hurry. The overall quality of the backpack is really great. It's really strong, sturdy, goes on for many years. You have your standing strap and the shoulder pads, as you can see, as basic as possible. Just plain leather, no soft tissue, really no protection. There is some padding on the bottom side, which makes it a bit stronger. But actually, it's just great in terms of quality, better than some of the more premium backpacks with lots of features. So. Now let's have a look inside the backpack. So, as mentioned before, we have two pockets on the front. Which are held close by this rubber. There's an extra strap on the side to hang something. Second pack. Now when you open it, the first thing you'll see is the serial number, this is with mine. I got number 154 of 1000 pieces made. A picture of the old barn where it's produced. And your history. If you should send it to someone else. So as you can see in 2014 this backpack came out and was I was one of the first ones to buy it. Inside we have a little pouch which is nice. On the inside it's the strong fabric like always. We have one separator made from a very light fabric. The backpack itself weighs about 1.5 kilo, which is nice as well. And that's about it. Just the backpack. It only comes in dark blue, which is okay in my mind. And the red accents where you need to go when it's dark doesn't really matter. It's more of a design thing, I think. Now, this backpack is quite good against rain and water inside and outside actually on the inside i had a problem once i had an energy can and it came open it ripped apart and was like completely full i had to turn it around to empty it the energy drink the water did not come out same on the other side when it rains hard you really don't need a rain cover with this one which is great which i prefer i don't really like those rain covers if you're carrying a lot of back things, if you're carrying a lot of stuff, you can close it. And that's about it. So as you could see, this backpack is just actually a basic backpack built in the old way. Normal people will be like, that's a lot of money for just a backpack. When you're an outdoor enthusiast or you want something special when you're a hipster or you really love the brand, you're gonna buy it, you're gonna enjoy it. So, 
Don't forget the subscribe button to keep the channel going. And as always, see you next time.